Hi guys, I'm Demon Killer, and in this video, we are going to walk through how we can make a bootable Linux USB via the Linux terminal itself. So normally, the GUI method is by using Belina Etcher, but um, we don't want to do that here. So we want to focus on the CLI method, and uh, I want you to take a note that this doesn't work for creating bootable Windows USBs. So I already have a video on how to make bootable Windows USB via the terminal. So uh, the link is in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. But right now, um, what we are going to do in this video is that I am um, I am on my Ubuntu 20.04 uh, terminal, and we are going to uh, create a Manjaro 20 bootable USB. So right now I haven't plugged in, but I'm going to plug in my USB now, and you should see two things happening. First is that you get a message here that uh, a USB has been plugged in which has Ubuntu 20.04 LTS um, in it and here you can already see that the device is being shown. So Ubuntu 20.04 is what is um, burnt into this USB and this is Ubuntu 20.04 bootable USB which we are going to so that means that we have to format our USB and then uh, burn Manjaro 20. So first let's um, find out what is the name of the drive. So I'm going to type in sudo fdisk-l. You'll be prompted for your password and once you hit enter you should see this. So it's slash dev slash sdb and this is around 7.57 gigs, 8 gigs on the packaging. So this can be different in your case if you have multiple USB drives connected to your uh, computer. So I actually recommend always connecting one at a time but uh, if you haven't so you will see uh, other things like slash dev slash sdc but in most cases if you have only one USB you should see this slash dev slash sdb. Now if you don't have root access you can go ahead and type lsblk and it shows you uh, your USB drives and over here it shows that Ubuntu 20.04 is stored. So let me just clear the screen. And now we want to unmount the drive so whenever you plug in your USB it gets mounted by default otherwise you can't use it so let's unmount it by typing u mount slash slash dev slash sdb with a star and you will see that the icon here which showed the USB has disappeared now what you want to do is format your drive so we are going to um, format it in the ext4 file system so I'm going to type in mkfs make file system dot ext4 and then the, the the drive name which we want to format so our drive name is slash dev slash sdb and um, this has to be uh, this command has to uh, run via the administrator so you need to uh, give the sudo uh, access so once you press enter you will uh, you have to press y and then uh, the formatting will begin and in a few uh, few moments later this should be done so now our uh, drive is formatted and if I go to my file system here it shows 8 GB volume instead of Ubuntu 20.04 uh, up here as well it shows 8 GB volume uh, instead of Ubuntu 20.04 because our uh, drive is formatted our USB is formatted now what we want to do is I'll just clear the screen and now I want to locate where is my ISO so I'm going to just CD into a folder uh, in my home directory which has the ISO so I have Manjaro KDE here which I want to copy because this is what uh, I want to make a bootable into so I'm going to type in sudo this has to be uh, via the administrator so sudo dd and if if means input file our input file is going to be uh, the the ISO name and then of of means output file and output file is going to be the path the the drive name actually so it's going to be slash dev slash sdb and now i can hit enter but uh, what happens is that you do not get any visual feedback of the progress that is happening so most users will uh, usually think that nothing is happening 
and they'll try to close the terminal which can damage the USB drive so what we can type is status is equal to in a pair of quotation marks progress and now once we hit enter uh, we get this visual of what actually is happening and uh, as you can see DD is copying Manjaro uh, to our uh, USB and uh, once this process is done we have a bootable USB so this whole copying processes take uh, a process takes place till the whole file is uh, copied so let's go ahead and check out the uh, file size so it is around 3.1 gigs so until 3.1 gigs is copied uh, this process will continue and this is the visual feedback which you get so this is how you make a bootable uh, Linux USB and this can be done on any Linux distribution for making any Linux distribution USB so in this case it was Ubuntu 20.04 terminal and I'm making a Manjaro 20 USB but it could be vice versa as well I could be on a Manjaro 20 terminal and making Ubuntu 20.04 LTS USB and of course like I said any other uh, distribution just works so this is how we make bootable Linux USBs in Linux terminal itself thank you so much for watching if you like the video please do subscribe uh, and uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you have a nice day